Thank you to Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video. You can go ahead and download the game for free using the link below on your mobile device or tablet. I'm also hosting my own sweepstakes where I'll be giving away a $10 Amazon gift card to three random people. So stay tuned to the end to find out how to win. Disney Emoji Blitz is unlike any other match three game on the market. Each emoji has its own unique power up. You control what to use, offering a strong layer of strategy to each game that you play. My favorite emoji is Nemo because he sends a swarm of Nemo emojis across your screen and it helps your score. With a deep collection of Disney, Pixar, Star Wars, and more emojis, this game is perfect for a collector if you're like me. They add new characters every month, sometimes every week. Lots of different emojis with different categories like silver, gold, rainbow exclusive, as well as story and villain emojis. The coolest thing about this game is that you can actually send the emojis that you earn in game to your friends on text. I love doing this. The emojis are so cute. They're better than any generic emojis that come with your phone. I love to use these. And just like I mentioned before, I am hosting a giveaway I will be giving away a $10 Amazon e-gift card to three lucky people. All you have to do to enter is download Disney Emoji Blitz using my link down below, get to level 20, and take a screenshot when you get to level 20, and tag me on Instagram or Twitter in that screenshot. If you have already participated in my previous giveaways, all you have to do is just advance five levels. So take a screenshot of what level you are now, and then take a screenshot when you've advanced five levels, and tag me in those screenshots on Twitter or Instagram. Thank you in advance and good luck if you enter the giveaway and most importantly thank you again to a Disney Emoji Blitz for sponsoring today's video now let's get to it hey everybody it's me tiger welcome or welcome back to another episode of our Sedona let's play series today is finally the day we're going to be doing our very first build on the island with a twist I'm going to be doing the first build with no terraforming. Zero terraforming used. If you haven't unlocked terraforming or if terraforming just scares you, I'm here to show you that it's possible to make some really cool builds without using it. A lot of you guys have actually requested that I do a whole no terraforming island, which honestly, I don't know if I could do it. I don't know if I could go that far, but at least I can show you guys a no terraforming build. We're gonna be working on Sedona's entrance today. I've cleared out the entire entrance area so that we would have plenty of space to work with. Also, two things have changed since the last time that you were here. We have two new villagers who moved on to the island. I will go ahead and show you guys the map here. We had Tasha move in and also Octavian. So now we have two of the octopus villagers living here, which is great because they're my least favorite, but it's fine. If you haven't been keeping up, here is our current villager lineup. We don't have any of our dreamies yet, but I still like all the people that live here. I think that they'll make great residents of Sedona for the meantime while we work on it but we will be villager hunting in the near future for some of our more permanent dreamy villagers. Anyways, let's go ahead and start on the entrance. So I know that I said that this was a no terraforming build. So you're probably wondering why are you wearing the terraforming hat and why do you have the terraforming tools? So there is a bit of an exception. I will be using the pathway placement tool with the terraforming. So I'll be using this dirt path right here. However, this build is completely possible without this. I'm just using it because I really like the way it looks when you place down the dirt pathway and then you put a custom design on top of it. I will show you guys what I mean later, but I just prefer that look. But you could also do the same build by just placing down the custom designs without the terraforming app. Anyways, let's get started. Sedona is going to be a town core island, so I want to have some streets and roads and sort of a town feel. So we're going to be adding a road to the entrance because when you enter a town, obviously you're driving up on a street. So that's what we're going to try to replicate here. I'm going to do the street as three blocks wide. And here at the entrance, I'm just going to do a straight road up to the resident services building that is back there. I have a road design code that will go on top of this dirt pathway. So this is not what it's gonna look like. There's not gonna be a dirt road. 
but I will show you in a second. Let me just place all of this down. I'm also gonna have the road kind of turn and go either way at the resident services building. If you haven't watched the first seven episodes of the series, I highly recommend watching them. They were super fun to make and it kind of just showcases the process of starting the new island. From now on, it'll be more of builds and working on the island and making that kind of progress. But if you would like to see the beginning steps of the game with this island, definitely check out the playlist. I'll link it down below. It looks so cool already because it just looks like a street. I think this is gonna be amazing. Now it's time to actually turn it into a road. So for the design, I'm gonna be using this little highway design that was made by an amazing creator on Instagram. I will put their Instagram on the screen as well as the design code for this road if you would like to download it yourselves. Basically, I'm just going to place it on top of the dirt pathway. So this is what it would look like if it was placed not on the dirt path. Wow, this looks so good. Oh my gosh. Okay, it looks better than I imagined. We just placed the last square. This is what it looks like so far. I think it looks so cool. Now we need to work on the side. So. What I want to do is have a little bit of a field going on here. That's why I have an inventory full of the yellow hyacinths. I think that they will look really great as a field. I was very, very inspired by Catland Isle on Instagram. I will put their Instagram on the screen. They have some really cool like country field type builds um, on their island and I just, I love the way they look. I think it's perfect. It's exactly what I'm going for. I don't know exactly where I want it to start because I do have some furniture items that I want to place along the sides here. I'm also wondering if it would look really cool to just have the dirt pathway, you know, like continue all the way um, like for the size of the field. That way it looks like the field is on dirt. I think that might look better. And if you can see, it's kind of extending our road as well so that's kind of cool oops i actually put that down but you can kind of see the edge of the road a little bit more i think we're gonna do it let me just um fix this one piece that i messed up now i know that this is not technically within the um no terraforming rule but this is optional okay you know what i mean really by no terraforming is no cliffs and no water escaping you could still do this entire build without using the dirt on the ground and just having the grass it would look probably just as good okay finally we're done and this is what it looks like it looks so crazy but it's gonna look better once we're done i promise i'm gonna go ahead and start planting some of these yellow hyacinths just to get them out of my inventory i'm not going to continue them all the way to the road though because i am gonna want to put some stuff on the side of the road because if you haven't watched the video where I planned this island and went into more detail about my inspiration and my thought process behind it, this island is inspired by my rural Texas hometown. And whenever you're driving up to a small town in Texas, um, you are on like a little highway and there's always stuff going on on the side of the road. So I definitely want to add some stuff there to make it look more like what I'm going for. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of space between the road and the field here. Okay, wait, I messed up. Hold on, I don't want them to be right here. We're gonna have to make space for something else. I wanna try this really cool design idea that I saw on Pinterest. I downloaded this really cool white stone border type pathway. I will put the design code on the screen so you guys can use it as well. Basically, I'm just going to take it and place it around like this and then we're gonna have a tree go in the middle of it so it kind of looks like a nice little landscaped tree area i don't know this is what they look like as the completed little squares and now we can just add a tree in the middle i'm gonna be using apple trees for the entrance because i think it'll just add that really cute pop of color and also i don't know like it just feels like a small town thing like Let's go hang out by the apple trees, you know? I don't know if that makes any sense, but I thought it would be really cute. Here's kind of what they will look like together like this. I think it looks super, super cute. And now we just need to add some finishing details and also finish up the flower field. But first I want to kind of add some things to the entrance here. So the very first thing I want to do is add the welcome sign to the island and I also want to have a scarecrow somewhere around here I think it would be nice to have a scarecrow here maybe let's see what he will look like oh my gosh that's perfect look at that 
Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I love Scarecrow. We need a name for him. I also brought some barbed wire fencing with me to add on the like outside border of the field. I'm not sure how this is gonna look, but we're just gonna try because in Texas, that's pretty much all that's around is a bunch of barbed wire fencing. It's like a staple piece of Texas, especially in these small town areas. I brought a ton of items to use at the entrance, just some things that I thought would look really good and kind of fill in a lot of these empty spaces. I did bring a sign for the entrance that is the Sedona flag design, so it's kind of like a welcome sign to the island. We can kind of just stick this down here, maybe like right at the entrance, like that. I feel like that could look cute. Maybe we should stick it on the other side. That way it's like not hiding behind the airport. I am gonna scoot it back though a little bit so I can place a custom design underneath it. We can use these realistic leaves that I found. Okay, like look how cool these are. They are amazing. I will also put that design code up on the screen so you guys can get um, those downloaded too because they're really, really cool. I also brought this bicycle that I wanted to add because, you yeah, know, it's a bike. Everybody in small towns rides bikes around. Um, I know growing up, a lot of kids would always use bikes to travel around the town because, you know, we were young, we didn't have cars. The garden bench is going to be right here, so it's kind of like an entrance area where you can sit down on the bench and yeah, I just feel like it makes sense. I also have some green leaf piles that I think would look really good here. We can kind of throw them around on the road just to add that extra level of detail it makes it look more realistic the destination signpost is going to go up here somewhere we can kind of squeeze it into the corner up here i customized it to be a little bit worn down um, just to match like that small town vibe look at how beautiful this looks so far you guys i'm like shocked right now this is looking amazing i need to grab some more of the yellow hyacinths from the other side of my island but i am gonna just fill in some of these spaces in this side with some items i brought this tire toy i'm just gonna use some weeds as well and then i also brought a dragonfly model which i thought would be cute to kind of have in the middle of the field i'm not sure if it's gonna look too like weird like if it will stand out too much but i think it would be really cute to have him out here especially since he's red and he'll kind of match the apple trees of course i could not complete a build without adding some sort of shrubbery so we are going to be sprinkling some shrubs around look at how good this is coming along i am obsessed with how this looks so far the dragonfly is an amazing idea i think it looks so good right there I am going to extend the fields at least by one block, so I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna go get flowers and see if we actually have enough to extend them by this much. I can add some weeds here and there to kind of, um, you know, subtract some flowers that we'll need to use. This is what it looks like as of now. I think it looks amazing. Harvey is out here enjoying it. Now that we've extended the fields a little bit more, they actually cover the edges of the screen so it looks more of like a big field when you're walking into the town. Look at how cute this is though. I am loving it so far. There are a few things that I want to add around the entrance though. Give a little bit more detail to the area here. We can add some little flowers. Maybe a street lamp would also look good. I have some in my inventory. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use them though. Oh, yes, that's that's so cute. I also thought about adding another tree, but I'm not sure if it would be too much to have a cedar tree in this area. I don't know if it would make it look too crowded. Maybe we could actually put the tree right here. I don't know. I think I'm just going to try it. We can always um, dig it up later if it doesn't look good. See, I don't know if it's like too, too big. I don't know if it's too large. Please help wait you know what would be so cute what if we had an apple and we just dropped it below the tree so it looked like a little apple fell down and you could go pick the apple i don't know let's just put it right here maybe this would be really cute yes look at that little apple on the ground now oh gosh that's not the tree let me put this shrub back um let's see what this looks like without the cedar tree again just to kind of confirm that I don't want it there. I think that, yeah, it's just, it's a little bit too big, but I feel like this place is still missing something like 
kind of large like right here I feel like there should be something that's a little bit taller and bigger maybe we could possibly put the sign over here behind the shrub instead and then we could put a street lamp over where we had the signpost before oh yes that looks so so much better that is exactly kind of what I was going for I think that this will work a lot better than what I uh, had before okay so that's great and then we can just place the street lamps here on the edge of this little tree thing okay okay I'm not opposed to it I think that this could work now let's see if one of these green leaf piles would still look good on this side oh yeah that looks so amazing this is perfect okay yes Yes, this is good. As we all know, Sedona is a small town, and if you haven't watched or heard about the island lore, we are going to invite Vivian the wolf to the island, and she is going to be the school teacher of Sedona. So with a school, I thought it would be really cool if we put a school bus um, at the entrance so it looks like it's driving by. I downloaded this code. I found it on Pinterest. I will put it up on the screen if you guys would like to download it as well. These are the cardboard cutouts. Um, I don't know if they're cardboard. Actually, they're not, but they are the cutout designs. They are really cool because you can make a lot of cool like perspective type builds with these. Oh my gosh, you guys look at the school bus. It looks so so real holy crap okay let's go back here and let's see what it looks like from this point of view yes you guys look at it it looks like the school bus is driving by oh oh my gosh okay this is so so cool okay i think i want to move it forward just by one block because um yeah it's just i think it needs to be seen a little bit better from the entrance so let me fix this and then we will take a look at it i think that this will look a lot better if it's a little bit closer so now when you're at the entrance you can actually see that it's a school bus look at how cool this is it looks like a real tiny town i'm obsessed and then we'll have some really cool stuff going around the resident services and we'll have these roads kind of leading us through the entire island. Now the entire island is not going to be on this dirt pathway. I just wanted to do that at the entrance so you know it kind of goes with the field here. But we will probably put some more barbed wire fencing on this side of the field to cut it off and then we'll have whatever we want on the other side. But for now, I think that this is basically what Sedona's island entrance is going to look like. We might make a few changes in the future. I'm not sure yet. If you guys have any suggestions for changes that you think would make this look better, please comment them down below. I would love to hear your ideas. You guys are pretty creative when it comes to Animal Crossing, so I love to hear what you have to uh, input into my island. I am obsessed with the way that this turned out though and I hope that this showed you that you can definitely create an entrance for your island or any build or maybe even a whole island without having to use terraforming. Terraforming is a great tool and a great add-on but you don't necessarily have to use it to make something really cool. I think that this turned out pretty dang awesome and it was zero terraforming other than the dirt pathway but i mean you could definitely have this build without that anyways this is what sedona's island entrance looks like i hope that you guys like it if you do like it be sure to like this video so that i can continue making more and definitely subscribe while you're here and turn on those post notifications so that you don't miss any of the future videos don't forget to also enter my awesome giveaway for a chance to win a 10 dollar amazon e-gift card all you have to do is download Disney Emoji Blitz. The link for that is down below as well as the rest of the instructions for the giveaway. So be sure to enter. You definitely want a chance to win. I hope that you all have a great day or night and I hope that you love Sedona's entrance as much as I do. I cannot wait to continue building this island. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!